Hey, it's Greg with Scholar Farms, and today I want to talk about plant mapping, uh, but I want to get rid of the map. So often we're just thinking about creating 3D point clouds or ortho mosaics, but some plant data can really be skewed by the merging and the blending of photos, particularly with vegetation. If it's windy and the vegetation is moving around, then the blending and the photogrammetry that happens with the photos can obscure some features that you might be interested in. For example, when we think about leaf level measurements, like individual blemishes that might be from disease or pests, or we're thinking about phenotypes when we're doing breeding, or for example, if you're thinking about phenology or what stage, life stage the plant is in, or trying to count every single flower. And so with that, still photos or single photos or even video may be a better way to go than actually taking lots of photos that overlap and creating an ortho mosaic. So taking photos of single points and just looking at those photos and taking measurements of single photos. We have lots of tools out there for taking measurements off of single photos and you won't have the artifacts of different uh, photos taken uh, with different perspectives or in different locations or different times or if a plant is moving uh, it's not going to mess up your data. Now one thing that we really want to do with those photos is probably take time series data. So we want to take the same location again and again and again over time. And so one thing you can do for that is you can use waypoints. So waypoints are uh, point locations that the drone can be programmed to fly to and take a single photo and move on to the next point and then do that week after week or month after month throughout the growing season. You can use an app like Lychee, that's the one I typically use, and you can even plug in very specific GPS locations that you want to establish your permanent survey locations. And then the drone will go and fly up to 99 waypoints at a time, and you can just save that in your uh, app and then just fly those again and again and take all those photos and then just line them up over time based on their GPS location. So that's one thing that you can do that's an alternative to mapping. Now mapping is, a, is an incredibly powerful tool, but uh, I want to give you some, some tips and tricks uh, for the plant world, um, and so that's one of them. I'm Greg with Scholar Farms, and we'll talk to you again soon.